Assalamu alaikum. Today's lesson is about the present tense. Al fi'lu al mudari'. And how how can we use it with subject pronouns such as وكيف نستخدم هذا الفعل مع ضمائر الفاعل مثل أنا I هو he وهي she ونحن we وأنت أنت you وأنت you وأنتم you as well وهم they If you'd like to, you don't have to say أنا all the time لست مضطرا أن تقول أنا طول الوقت But you can, you can use a instead, instead of أنا a, a Also, you don't have to say هو all the time أيضا لست, لست بحاجة أن تقول هو طول الوقت But you can use يا يا Instead of of who, also you don't have to say here all the time, but you may use ta instead of here she. Uh, you don't have to use nahnu nahnu we all the time, as you may use na na instead of nahnu we. As well as you don't have to use anta when you're referring to. Boys, but you may use ta ta. You didn't have to use antum antum once you refer to plural, whether they were uh, to male, of course. You didn't have to use antum, but you may use ta and in at the end of the of the word. And anti, you don't have to use anti, but you may use ta. And at the end of the word, finati kalima wun. As well as you don't have to use home, home they, but you may use ya and wun instead of the word. And of course, we're going to know what does it mean. وبالتأكيد سنعرف ما يعني هذا والآن تعالوا لنكتب الفعل مع الضمائر في زمن المضارع. Now let's write down the verb with subject pronouns in present tense. We have the word لدينا كلمة يستيقظ. This is the word that we're going to form, we're going to use it with pronouns, with all with, with all pronouns, subject pronouns. هذه الكلمة سنستخدمها مع كل ضمائر الفاعل. For example, على سبيل المثال, أنا I I أنا as I told you before, we don't have to use أنا all the time as we may use a shorter form a a. كما قلت لكم, لا يجب أن نستخدم كلمة أنا طوال الوقت. في حين أنه يمكننا أن نستخدم آ بدلا من أنا فنقول We can say أستيقظ أستيقظ في الساعة السادسة I wake up at six o'clock هو he also we don't have to use هو all the time as we we may use The shorter form. لا يجب أن نستخدم كلمة 
أو ضمير هو طوال الوقت كما أنه يمكننا في حين أنه يمكننا أن نستخدم يا فنقول so we can say يستيقظ في الساعة السادسة he wakes up at six o'clock هي she تستيقظ في الساعة السادسة she wakes up at six o'clock نحن we we don't have to use نحن all the time as we we can use نا نا we say نستيقظ في الساعة السادسة أنت أنت you we say تستيقظ في الساعة السادسة you when referring to boys You wake up at six o'clock. Anti, referring to female. Anti, we can say you wakes you wake up at six o'clock. تستيقظين في الساعة السادسة. Whom they? We can say يستيقظون في الساعة السادسة. They wake up at six o'clock. Hunna, hunna, when referring to plural, female plural. We say, يستيقظنا, يستيقظنا في الساعة السادسة. They, referring to female, wake up at six o'clock. والآن دعونا ننتقل إلى أدوات الاستفهام Interrogative form لكي تكون سؤالا في اللغة العربية لابد أن تتعرف على أدوات الاستفهام In order to form question in Arabic you have to know interrogative forms they are going to ask with First أولا ماذا 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 what what متى متى when أين أين where كيف كيف how هل does do هل من who لماذا؟ why؟ أي؟ which؟ so من المهم أن تتعرف على أدوات الاستفهام هذه لكي تكون سؤالا. so it's so important to know the interrogative forms in order if you'd like to form a question using these words. والآن ضع سؤالا لما تحته خط make or form a question for the underlying words تلبس البنت الفستان والحذاء the girl wears the dress and shoes dress and shoes نريد أن نسأل about them we would like to ask about them so what can we say think we can say نستطيع أن نقول ماذا تلبس البنت what does the girl wear what does the girl wear صديقي حمزة يدرس في الجامعة my friend حمزة Is studying in the university, so I'd like to ask about Sadiqi Hamza, my friend Hamza. So asking using man who, man yadrus fil jamia, who's studying in the university. So the, the answer is going to be Sadiqi Hamza, my friend Hamza. Ana adhabu ila al-matjari 
لكي اشتري الملابس I go to the store in order to buy clothes So I went to ask to ask about لكي اشتري لكي This is the reason هذا هو السبب So if you would like to ask about reasons we say لماذا تذهب إلى المتجر Why are you going to the store Why are you going to the shop أبي يقرأ الجريدة صباحا My father reads the newspaper morning In the morning So I would like to ask about in the morning This is time So if you'd like to ask about time We use إذا أردت أن تسأل عن الوقت ماذا تقول You say متى يقرأ أبي الجريدة When The when does my father read the newspaper? That was a very important lesson that we have to focus on. هذا درس مهم للغاية لكي نهتم به جدا. And it's important to know how how can we ask. من المهم جدا أن نعرف كيف نسأل. Thank you so much. Shukran Jazeelan for watching this video.